Oh, wow, hold on, this is looking good. Come on, that's some perfect crust. I don't know about you, but I'm always super excited when it becomes pizza time. And right now it is obviously pizza time because I have the Pizzello 16 inch Forte gas. Now this is an outdoor pizza oven coming in at 16 inches so you can make those extra large pies right at home and have them fresh and delicious. Now the thing with this pizza oven is because it's a Forte gas model, it's actually a dual fuel model. So not only can you cook with propane gas, but you can also cook with things like charcoal, wood chips, pellets, etc. if you want that extra smoky flavor and different flavor profile with your pizza. It's gonna be very fun to experiment with this thing. Now remember, I said this is a 16 inch pizza oven and this thing is actually fairly heavy coming in at about 55 pounds. This box is pretty substantial. This oven can reach a temperature of 752 degrees Fahrenheit or 400 degrees Celsius in about 20 minutes. So you'll be ready to make an authentic Neapolitan pie in 60 seconds flat. But keep in mind you're able to adjust the temperature as you need it so you can have a slower longer bake if you want to make something like a new york style pizza it's entirely up to you but remember not only can you make pizzas in this thing but you can also make other things like steaks vegetables potatoes onions onions are vegetables but you know what i'm saying this pizza oven does come with everything you need whether you want to go on the wood or charcoal side of things or the propane side of things or both you're covered no matter what option you decide to choose they're both inside this box we also do have a carrying cover so you can take this with you wherever you go and have a pizza party literally anywhere. Now remember, this is the 16 inch Forte gas model. There's also a 12 inch version. There's also a version without the gas. So no matter what you wanna do, you could pick and choose your options basically. Everything is well packed inside of the box, very protected. We of course do have an aluminum pizza pill ready to go. Now this pizza pill isn't 16 inches. So if you wanna make a 16 inch pie, you definitely should get a bigger 16 inch pill so you can build that pie. Now personally, as you can see, this is aluminum, but as far as baking pies and launching pies, I do prefer having a wooden pill because I feel like it slides off just a bit better. Now for taking it back out of the oven, that's where the aluminum comes in handy for me, at least personally. Of course, we do have the carrying bag right here that's going to be able to cover up your pizza oven and keep it protected from the elements if you happen to leave it outside year round and also does have some straps on it so you can actually carry it with you on the go. As you can see, we do have a built-in area for the chimney so you don't have to constantly remove it when you put the cover on. Very nice. I thought this was a manual, but it looks like it's just a picture of this beautiful oven. Next, we're on to the actual pizza oven itself and I actually thought this was a really cool feature. We actually do have a handle here for easy portability. Very nice to see so you don't have to wrap your arms around this monstrosity. City. So now let's, oh, that's heavy, remember, 55 pounds, don't hurt yourself. Looks like the best option here is gonna be to flip this thing over and see what happens. <laughs> We're almost there. Woo. All right, get rid of all this. There we have it, the instruction manual, which you should probably take a look at. Let's get this thing flipped back over. Ooh, just like so. Let's get this styrofoam out of here. Whoo! Huh. This is a this thing is solid, trust me. If you get the 16 inch model, I would definitely recommend you have some help to get this thing all set up because like I said, it's pretty heavy, big and bulky. Thank me later. All right, so here we are. Like I was saying, we do have this handle, which is very, whoops, definitely gonna come in handy when you wanna lift this thing around because, I mean, you guess you could carry it like this, but the handle's gonna make things so much easier. Nice feature right there. As I was alluding to, very solid design here. I mean, I'm hitting this thing and it's not moving. So now, as you can see, we do have the pizza oven itself right here, but we do have a bunch of other accessories with it, including this thing right here. This is actually a bit of a shield here to block the fire from the pizza, so that way it's not as easy to burn the pizza super quick, especially at those high temperatures. Now, personally, I've never been a huge fan of these, but this one actually looks better. It has holes right here, and then plus, we also have a door to trap the heat inside so we're not losing all that heat. So I don't think it'll be a problem this time around. 
Now, like I was saying, we do have a door here, which is a very nice feature to trap all the heat inside so you can have a perfectly baked pie as quickly as possible. Now, this is actually really cool. It does have a little flap here so you can actually look inside and take a peek at your pizza while it's cooking without disturbing the heat. Now, it looks like all the other accessories are inside. So let's see what we got here. Looks like right here, we actually do have the top of the chimney. So we'll keep that to the side real quick. They did include a nice hose in case you decide to go the propane route, but you can of course use your own if you already have one. Next up, we actually have the full on chimney here. Very good size. And we're gonna put this little part right here on top to complete the installation. We'll get to that in a second. Ooh, we got a box full of goodies. Right here, we do have a basic little metal bracket that we're gonna use to mount the gas burner on the back. And speaking of which, right here, we do have the gas burner, very good size. We do have options for low and high heat and anywhere in between. And then right here, we do have to put in a double A battery for the igniter. Not included, keep that in mind. Don't forget that double A battery. Thank me later. Right here, wrapped up and protected, we do have the all important 16 inch pizza stone. That's gonna give you that nice crispy bottom. And there we go, it's in perfect condition, very smooth and clean, but you know, not for long. It's gonna get dirty and burnt. And keep in mind, this is a stone. If you drop it, it will break. So this is the one part of this that you really wanna be careful with. Next up, we do have three wooden handles here. I know one's gonna be used for the door, one's gonna be used for the wood burner. We also do have a little lightweight aluminum pizza roller. All the screws, a wrench and a screwdriver to install everything. And last but not least, we do have the wood burner right here. We can put your charcoal, wood pellets, etc., right here to bring in that heat to that stone and make a nice flavorful pie. Hello? In there? Anyone in there? Hello? Looks like it's empty, so it looks like it's time to get this thing set up. And as you can see, we have a lot of stuff going on here. So let's let's get this set up because I want some pizza. I'm hungry. So first things first, let's lift this thing. It actually feels a lot lighter weight without everything inside of it. But we do have four legs down here on the bottom. Let's get them folded out. Just like so. Yeah, there we go. Nice and sturdy. The first thing we're gonna do is take this angled wooden hand. You can see this little curve right here. And we're gonna take our door and two screws and screw it onto here, just like so. Just like that. We got a handle on our door for easy removal. Next up, we're gonna take two screws and our short wooden handle and put it in the back right here, right where we're gonna be feeding the wood into the wooden burner. Just like so. Now we can open it up, throw in some wooden charcoal, close it up, and we're good to go. And finally, we're gonna take our third longest wooden handle and attach it to the wood burner itself. And as you can see, now we have full control to place it inside. Next up, we're gonna take our isolation plate and we're gonna be placing it this way. So this part that's sticking out is gonna be facing toward the back, not the front. Keep that in mind. Don't mess it up or it'll mess with your temperature. So what we're gonna do is take two of the screws, take our isolation plate. Remember, this part's gonna be facing the back. Stick it inside and line it up with these two holes and then do your best to get it threaded in through the hole. There we go, looks like I got it on one side, so the next side should be a bit easier. Of course, we're gonna take our screwdriver and get it tight. And there we go, we have the isolation plate in here. Like I said, it does have holes, so the heat should get through no problem, but also protect the pizza. Now, that wasn't the hardest process in the world, but it was a bit tedious. It did take me about two minutes, which wasn't that bad, but you know, trying to find the hole, a bit of a hassle, so honestly, I feel like that should have just been pre-installed. Next up, we're gonna screw the chimney hood onto the chimney, which is gonna be very easy. There's already a hole. Just screw it on. Just like so, place it on top, pushed inside, and the chimney's in place. And then the final step of this process, we're gonna take our pizza stone, get it inside, all the way to the back, and we're good to go, ready to make our delicious pies. But of course, that's if you're using wood pellets or charcoal. If we wanna use the gas burner, we do have one more little thing we have to do. Basically, we have to take these screws out in the back. We're gonna take our gas burner, get this piece and have it facing this way like so, and put three screws to attach it together. Just like so, make sure it's nice and secured. And then we can easily slide it in the back and put those screws we removed back into place to hold it all together. Just like so. And as you can see, it's a very simple process. If you want to remove this and switch back to wood, just take out two screws, remove this, and then throw in the wood burner instead. So as you can see, the setup process was very easy and the pizza oven itself looks fantastic. Oh, but how can I forget the door? As you can see, take it like so. 
place it right there and it blocks all the heat inside so you can cook your pizza that much quicker. Now that being said, obviously this is an outdoor pizza oven and I'm gonna head outside, get this thing set up, get it all connected with some propane and we'll see how well it can actually cook a good pie. All right, y'all, it is officially almost just about time for the moment we've all been waiting for. I have the Pizzello Forte gas heating up for about 30 minutes now. So let's take a look inside and see how hot this thing is at max power. Oh, look at that. Super hot. That flame is curling over the top. Oh, it's burning my face. So let's hit it with the laser gun here. Oh my gosh. We're almost at 1100 degrees in the middle, in the front, 750-ish, and then in the back, where's that laser? I can barely see it. Ah, oh, it's burning my hand. In the back, it's about 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. So this thing is hot. Wow, now let's take a look at the thermometer up here on the top because you can't really go by this too much. It actually does say about 750 degrees Fahrenheit. So as we saw, the inside, the center stone, over a thousand degrees, which is insane. So I'm actually gonna turn down the heat to a minimum. We're gonna let it just roll the fire in there and we're gonna get the pizza ready and throw it on in. Let's get this cooking. All right, y'all got my amazing pizza right here. 400 gram dough ball, got some pollo asado, some peppers on here, some tomatoes, some onions, along with some freshly grated cheddar. Pro tip, stop using that pre-shredded stuff. It'll change your life, trust me. So now let's take a look inside. We've had it cooling down a bit. We're at about 730 in the middle, which is pretty close to 750. I think we're good to go. We don't want it too hot, and it seems like it's a pretty much a sweet spot. Got a 16 inch pizza pill here. The pizza is roughly 14 to 15 inches. Remember, this is a 16 inch pizza oven, but you know, you probably should go a little bit smaller. Quick shake here, looking good. And this is my first time launching a pizza this big and this board is heavy, the pizza's heavy. So let's see if we can do this. Uh-oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't believe I just saved that because I almost completely ruined that. So got the pizza in here. Let's get it covered up, get that heat trapped in, and we're gonna start turning it. We're gonna do a 100% live and uncut bake here. Of course, I do recommend you get yourself a pizza, a pizza turning peel. You know, one of these. I'll probably go with this one for now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One of this cool features right here. We do have this little hole right here. You can peek inside without disturbing it. Now it is dark in there because I have the temperature so low, but we can take a look in there, but let's just pull open the whole door. Oh, it smells good though. Ooh. I feel like we might want to turn up the heat a bit because we do have that wall there. So I'm going to increase the heat just a tad bit. Get some more fire in there. We don't want it too much to burn it. Oh, there we go. Look at that. That looks good. Look at that. Got the flame going over the top. Cheese is bubbling. Oh, wow. And this pizza is looking good. Nice and big. Let's get this turning pill heated up with the fire so we can go for our first turn here. Try to get on underneath. Uh oh, I feel like we, uh oh, I don't know. Feeling a little bit iffy in the middle. Oh, we're a little bit stuck over here on the left side. See if I can get it. Oh, I think I got it. Let's do give it a quick little turn here. Oh, wow, hold on, this is looking good. I completely saved it, you guys. If I can save it, you can save it too. Usually when you mess up a pizza, you can still salvage some of it. I salvaged all of it. This is looking good. Oh, come on. Look at that. Crust is popping up. It's puffing. Oh, the cheese. I can hear that sizzle. Oh, it's so hot over here though. I'm sweating. Let's get the cover back on. Whew, trap that heat in there. Cook it a little bit quicker. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is what it's like cooking with a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. <sighs> and plus it's a summer night too. That doesn't help. It might help the pizza, it doesn't help me. Okay, let's go in for another turn. Oh, it's starting to burn a little bit in the back. We're waiting a little bit too long between turns. This pizza is quite heavy. Oh. Okay, we got a little char there, but I think I salvaged it. I think we're good. Let's actually check the bottom a bit. Oh, looking nice on the bottom, looking crispy. Now, you know what? I think what I will do is turn the heat down a little bit more. Remember, with a new pizza oven, you gotta figure out how to actually use it and what temperatures to do and all that. So it's always a fun time with the first bake. Get back in here. Okay. Probably give it a quick turn. Oh man, this pizza's heavy. 
As you can see, I did char the top, but the good thing about having that wall back there is that the wall actually protected this part from getting burnt because the wall is blocking some of the heat, so only the top part got charred. Although the char is definitely gonna add some extra flavor to it. Oh man, I mean, this is smelling good. I don't even care that I'm sweating to <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so, I feel like I'm doing a full-on workout. My shirt's starting to stick to me. This thing is hot. Okay, let's go back in. All right, let's give it another turn. Oh no, it's, it's kind of sticky in the middle. Not sure what's going on there. We got to be a little bit careful there, or we could have a big mess. I think that's going to be our final turn for the most part. Let's try to take a peek underneath. Oh, I see there is a bit of a hole coming up down there, so we got to be a bit careful. Whew. But you know, once you kind of figure out how to work it, you can kind of figure out how to save it too. Hopefully, hope it doesn't rip in half when I try to take this thing on out. I mean, the pill's looking pretty good. It doesn't look like we have any sauce on it, so I think we should be good. Woo! It's almost pizza time. Let's get back in here. Oh, it's looking good. Oh no. Should I give it a couple more turns? Maybe turn it the other way. This side's a little bit light. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I did it. Okay, I think it's time to take it out. I just popped a hole in the bottom. I can hear it sizzling. Hold on out. Oh, hold on, hold on. You see this pizza? Now this part is a little bit light. I would like it a bit more dark, but I'm afraid because we do have an actual hole there. You can see that I did cut the hole. So, you know, this thing is heavy. Let me just prop it on down right here. Oh, it's hot. So now that we got the pizza out, let's actually take a look at the bottom. Oh my God, no, oh my God. Try this side. That's perfect crust right there. It's not burnt, it's just crispy on the bottom. Oh my God, you guys, you don't understand. This is, I think this is perfection right here. Remember, I mean, this is cooked still, but I would like it a little darker but also that could be just be some flour. Like I would like it to be more like this, maybe not as dark as that, but, oh, the bottom though, that's the perfect bottom for the pizza. Let me show you again, look at this. Don't ignore that hole, but the color, all that feels great, smells great, looks great. We're gonna let it cool down a bit. We're gonna cut into this thing and we're gonna eat it because it's pizza time. <gasps> all right, we're back inside cooling down a bit and I don't wanna toot my own horn or anything, but, might be the greatest pizza ever. Who am I kidding? It is the greatest pizza ever, and I am tooting my own horn because, wow, have you seen this pizza? Look at this. That's looking good. Pollo asado, veggie, some little spices, but the most important thing, look at this crust. You see that crust? Ignore the hole, okay, but the crust. Oh man, crispity, crunchity, looking amazing. Got my pizza axe right here. Highly recommend it if you wanna take your pizza making to the Viking level. So let's, get, let's see, what slice do I want? Maybe something over here. Oh, oh my gosh, you heard that? Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, man. All right. Oh, hold up. Look at this. Look at this slice. Pull this on up. Okay, we do have a little bit of flop here, but it is crispy on the bottom. I think it's just because we have a lot of toppings on here, but look at this. Come on, that's some perfect crust. Nice char, feels crispy. Smells delightful. Let's try this thing out. Mm. It's pretty fire, guys. Not even lying. You know you want this. Look at that crust. That's the perfect crust. Leopardy. Mm-hmm. You see, ever since I started making my own pizzas, never wanted a pizza from anywhere else. This is at least a hundred times better. I mean, come on. Now, the pizza's amazing, but that was to be expected. Now, the pizza oven itself, the Pizzello Forte Gas 16-inch model. How is it? Well, I will tell you this. I did notice it is a bit easier to cook in this thing without burning it. Like, I, like you guys saw, I left this side in a bit long, but the fire was just going over the top in this part. Look, perfect, because we do have that wall there. Now the thing with the wall, 
I've had other pizza ovens where it had a wall inside to block the flame and it didn't get hot enough. But I think that was because one, there weren't any little openings in there. This one does have openings, so the fire can come through a bit. And then two, we have a door. So the door traps the heat inside so the whole thing gets extremely hot in there. Right there, this might be the perfect pizza oven. It's got a door, it's got the wall to stop it from burning. But look at this crust, guys. Like that's some, you have to smell this, you have to feel this. That's perfect crust right there. This is the perfect pizza, and I made it in the Pizzello Forte Gas 16-inch model. Man, I, I mean, come on. What else can I say? This pizza came out of there, and I made it 100% from scratch. That pizza oven did a great job. I mean, it's got a lot of room in there. I made this pizza, didn't burn it. I was trying to figure out how to work it because it was the first bake, and it was, I wouldn't say foolproof because I do have some experience cooking pizzas in other pizza ovens, but still. As you saw, left it in there a bit long on that side, had to mess with the temperature a bit, still didn't burn it. Got the perfect crust. Now that's saying a lot. I really like this pizza oven. I'm gonna be eating pizza every day for the rest of my life. Actually, I've kind of been doing that, but you know, now I can make them bigger. And it's gonna be amazing with this perfect crust. Mm. I gotta get more. Um, okay, out.